Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry if you can hear stuff on in the background, but I kind of need to leave it on. Um, and I thought I would shoot a video showing you uh, my new Van der Speck planners. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I was like, I wonder how long this is going to last before like, I mark it up in some way, in some permanent way. And I think I had a little bit of oil on my finger from some stuff I was moving around in the kitchen. And there it is, my first mark. Uh, is it an issue? Obviously, if it was an issue, I wouldn't order Janet Leather Brown. I've got enough Janet Leather Brown now to know um, exactly what's going to happen to it. In some ways, it's such a relief when you get your first mark and you can just move on. Uh, Funnily though, I wanted to film this before I got any marks on it, just to give you like, uh, you know, it's it's initially here kind of uh, video. So just pretend you can't see this mark because five seconds ago, it wasn't there. <laughs> okay, so this is um, a VDS unwidened senior 20 millimeter ring planner. And I just thought I'd show you what it looks like, what my customizations are um, and compare it to a 20, or 26 millimeter unwidened so you can see what the difference is um, and then also talk about why I love this size so much so in terms of customizations I asked for gold hardware and gold rings I asked for square corners I asked for some contrast stitching so that is velvet sand um, stitching I got Janet Leather Brown on the outside because I love it. The way <laughs> the way this patinas is just unparalleled, um, both in terms of showing marks, but also this beautiful shine that just develops over it um, is just never seen anything as gorgeous as that. And sometimes, like when I get a new Janet Leather Brown, and it's quite matte and I compare it to some um, that I've had for longer and I see how shiny those are it really strikes me like just how beautifully it patinas um, and so I don't show the insides of my planners but um, I can show so this is kind of how I've set that one up but um, and I wanted to show you that it is possible to do tabs, including side tabs, but you kind of just want to make them yourself, I think, so that you can keep them as small as possible, um, to still being useful to you, but without interfering with like pen, pen loops or anything like that. Um, I'll just grab my pen and pop it in the loop there. Um, so you can see that the side tabs do not get in the way. You just have to make your own side tabs. If you use standard side tabs, they'll be too big. So to talk about my customizations, I'll just bring out my Janet Leather Burgundy. I ordered these at the same time. Um, so this one is a Janet Leather Burgundy outside, velvet sand inside combination. I heard that the velvet sand currently, or did I think it had a slightly pink undertone to it? Um, I think... I don't know if it's changed since my previous velvet sands, but I do think, especially when you put it near the burgundy, you can see that sort of pinkish undertone to it. And I really like it. I think it goes really well with burgundy. And I just love the suede soft leather so much. So in terms of customizations, I'll just go through that again. I asked for gold hardware, square corners, contrast stitching. Um, so velvet sand, I think is the stitching there. I ask for the pen loop to be moved up um, because if I want to be able to just hook it in on the side to minimize the space that my pen is taking, um, then I can. However, I don't feel like I really need to, so you can just leave it in the middle. But I kind of like having it up there so that I have both options. Um, I asked for a secretarial pocket on the right hand side. I asked for ring protectors and I think in future I wouldn't ask for ring protectors because if I put a little A6 book here, then it's fine. The book will just sit on top of this. But if I cut my A6 book down to an A6 slim, which is what I like to do, then it kind of, um, the spine of the book kind of hits against this and I just don't like it. I don't like that hitting uh, very much. So. It's fine because at the moment I'm not using an A6 book, but if I, if a future plan is, I don't think I'd put these in. I do think they're made beautifully. I like how small they are. I like that they're stitched in so you don't have to worry about them, you know, um, 
like falling out of the rings. Um, I think they're really pretty and I think they make the binder look really special. Um, I just don't think I would put them in for th that specific reason of, um, the reason I had them put, put them in it, the reason I put them in was because I wasn't going to get a back pocket and I just wondered if it was going to push through, if the rings was going to push through to show indentations here, which I hate. Um, but for a 20 millimeter ring planner, it's not going to do that because the rings um, really just don't bash up against the sides as much as they would if they were bigger rings. Um, so I don't think it's something that you really actually have to worry about. And I feel this, so I got this with a Bontex, full Bontex sheet and foam. And I think with all of that padding in there, it's not going to do anything like, you know, push it up. This kind of reminds me of uh, a Julio Amica in terms of the level of stiffness and the foam. So again, I like that they're like this. However, in future, I would also get floppier ones. This is a really floppy one, um, I think. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's got only Bontex frame and not full Bontex. Um, I would just get, uh, you know, variety on that so that I can sort of do what my mood feels like. Sometimes I really like something a bit stiffer, so it feels like there's lots of support and structure, and sometimes I like something floppier. Um, so, yeah, so I got the the page, the, the ring protectors, and then... Um, on this one, I got the normal layout, but on this one, I've got the um, slip pocket on the outsides, so outside facing slip pocket. Now, if I was, I'm really happy because I thought that the outside facing slip pocket would mean that I only got one slip pocket on the inside. Um, and so I was kind of kicking myself for that, but actually you get two slip pockets as well on the inside you just get an additional outside facing slip pocket so i don't feel like i've lost anything um which is great do i think this is useful on a vd on a um on a unwidened senior as small as this planner probably not because if you put stuff in there there's a good chance it's going to fall out so you probably wouldn't put things like credit cards or money or anything like that in there even stickers um, I don't know how useful it is. However, I love putting my Ollie clip in there and then sticking like a card. So it just stays beautifully. Um, love that. So uh, I would probably wouldn't pay for it next time. Um, cause I don't think it's that useful. However, I do love having it there. And I think, and I got a chunky clasp. I did not get a back pocket. No regrets about that whatsoever. I just think I'm done with, uh, back pockets for good. Um, and that's kind of it. So this is the same, but it doesn't have the outside facing slip pocket. I think they're gorgeous. I really love them. Um, I just wanted you to compare, I wanted to compare this in terms of um, the width of, so this is also a VDS. It is an uh, unwidened 25 millimeter ring or whatever the next ring size is, um, which I just felt like it was just a little bit too big for me. Um, and you can see it's substantially bigger here. So if I, this is not widened. Okay. So, um, if I put them together like this, like, you know, it's like substantially bigger. So I just love the tiny, tiny size of the 20 millimeter unwidened. And I wanted to compare it with this, which is a Julio pocket Miyokara. And like, I think this really speaks to why I love the A6 unwidened 20 millimeters and why as much as I want to love the pocket mirror cars, I can't use them at all um, because it's like just three millimeters smaller in terms of width. Um, the bulkiness is the same, you know, it's the same. And in terms of length, Obviously, the, the A6 is going to be slightly taller, but not, again, just millimetres in it, you know? Millimetres in it. Maybe half a centimetre at most, if that. Um, and it's like, am I going to carry this around for a pocket planner um, with little pocket inserts? Or am I going to have, like, this copious space of beautiful A6 inserts and that really um, take advantage of the, the space 
you've got inside the planner. So that's why I love unwidened 20 millimeter A6 rings. I don't struggle at all with 20 um, millimeters. I don't feel like I need any more than that, but I'm not a huge uh, one to just put in heaps of decoration in there that don't um, uh, that aren't functional. So um, I will have like a photo and like one, maybe two of those sort of decorative items, but that will be kind of it. So as you can see, I can fit everything I need, have plenty of spare pages, um, loads of dividers, um, and I think it's just perfect. You know, it's sensational. And this is my companion planner. So uh, to my main planner, which is, um, I think I did a video on this most recently. Um, this is my eye B6 Slim uh, VDS. Um, and this is my main planner. It basically contains, it doesn't have any strings. Um, in the future, I would get a single string here. Um, as in like, you know, the, the traditional Traveler's Company Midori style um, single ring, uh, single string, um, because I want it slap in the center um, so that I can keep this as slim as possible. Um, but I do have nevertheless one, two, three, four books in here um, by just tucking them into the sides. So I've got a little, um, Mm, passport size diary with lots of uh, blank note pages from Good Ink Impressions. It's tiny and I keep this in there because um, it can be easily taken out and transferred into anything. It's very portable so then I don't have to keep writing my monthly schedule out in different places because that just wasn't working for me. So this is the only place I write like my calendar appointments um, on a forward planning basis and it's just so easy to take out and put in any handbag that I'm taking with me. I have a little B6 Slim Jibun Tetro pouch. Um, I just had to trim the plastic bit a little bit so that it goes in. Um, nicely there and um, if there's little bits of information or receipts or anything that I need to carry with me it'll just go in this pouch. I've got two planner perfect notebooks one is my journal and one is my planner. I've talked about the planning um, in my previous video so I won't talk about that but uh, it's so funny it's not the kind of planning I would ever have imagined myself doing and it's so foreign to the way I've planned for the last seven years um, but it just is perfect it just <laughs> no pun intended it just fits me and I get so much done sometimes I'll notice myself getting up to do tasks and I'll think you know if I hadn't read it in script form um because I do a, a style of planning called scripting in here if I hadn't read it in that form and I'd just seen it on a list I know I wouldn't be doing this right now so that's great but what I wanted to say that I'm really loving is actually having a journal in my main planning book around with me always it's kind of changed my approach to journaling which i always saw as a chore and didn't um, enjoy to um, something i really like doing because it's there during my free moments you know i don't have to set aside time for it it's just there for me to do when i'm feeling a bit bored so it gives me something to do in those moments that i really enjoy plus when something happens it's just easier to capture it straight away rather than trying to remember it and not remembering it at the end of the day so love having that and then the final book i have in here is a um is a good ink impressions B6 slim book that I have trimmed by one centimeter just so it sort of sits nicely in here and I guess I'm doing um, Bujo style stuff in here really I just write the date at the top when I write in here and I, I just write stuff that um, doesn't fit neatly in my scripted page so stuff that I need to do tomorrow or um, yeah it'll be stuff if it was something that I really needed to do today I'll put it in my um, scripted page but stuff that I've got to remember to do the next day I'll just put in here so there's a nice long running um, list of things to do and if there are notes like if somebody says something to me on the phone that I have to remember I'll put that in there too and at the end of the day or even the next day when I've got time I can um, allocate those things to where they need to to, to the, where they need to go or where they would best go so that is my um planner and the reason i have a companion rings 
is because there's other stuff that is like lists and collections and information that you want to access on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is not like a, a reference binder. For me, reference stuff is not stuff you need on a day-to-day -day basis. It's more once in a while you might need that information. I keep that in my personal rings. This is day-to-day -day stuff. Um, you know, my tabs are appointments and that is not... Um, it's not what it looks like it's um i can show you this because it's blank i believe um so here's an example it's basically um if i have an appointment where there's lots of details like you know if you uh see the vet or something and the vet says well, please make sure you bring the book and um some medication and please bring this that and the other and um i need to tell you that when you arrive there's not going to be much parking but just drive up the driveway so that sort of thing um that i would put in here um so only for that sort of thing um then i've got a huge happy mail <laughs> it's crazy how much space happy mail takes in my um ring binder but um that's where i keep um things i need to do for my planners uh lists of stuff i've ordered um like coupon codes and you know little designs that i'm doing for future customs and a list of often used supplies um kind of also goes um in there and then I've got daily notes. So these are just, if I feel that the note, you know, like normally I'll put my notes in here, but say I've only got this and for some reason this is not nearby or it's not open up and I want to write a note that, you know, can just sort of stay in there and isn't particularly important, I might want to. So I would have that space. I think the perfect example of that is, um, this so for example i have a schedule of panadol neurofen and antibiotic that my daughter has to take um <coughs> on a daily basis it's just better for me to have that in there um in terms of you know easy to access and is useful there i've got reading which has a reading list books i've already read books i want to read um recommended reading um, and then I've got food so just you know typical grocery items but also um, specific shopping lists and then on the bottom I've got notes so this is just blank paper in, under there um, that I might need if, to put in a different section projects which are like multi-step things that I need to do at some point in the future or have a future to-do date um, that I am planning go in there um, and then a mood tracker. And I think those things are just way better in a ring binder where you've got tabs and it's nicely organized rather than trying to make it work in a Bujo system. So my Bujo is not really a Bujo. It's just a list of things I have to do. Um, and that's just, it just works better that way. If I try to put other stuff in there, they just get lost and it's a headache and it doesn't feel particularly organized to me. So I, my planning gets done at home. I rarely take my planners out of the house. Um, although ever since I got this, I'm more tempted to, um, just so I can do some journaling at a cafe if I want or something like that. Um, but, um, it's not hard for me to have multiple planners because they're at home um, and I imagine most people fall under that category where it's actually not hard as much as I'd like to have just the one thing that makes no sense at all and um, you know if I was going to do just the one thing I would be in rings uh, for sure but then I would so badly miss a bound book for things that seem like they capture my day and I'd want to preserve forever um, that it just wouldn't work. All right, guys, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. I'll be back with more videos soon. Thanks for sharing. Bye.